Good morning, friends. It's a weigh-in day, and I'm getting these babies touched up afterwards, so I'm excited. I'm feeling kind of Ariana Grande-esque with my high ponytail, but my hair's pretty thin, so it doesn't look like Ariana Grande, but that's okay. So anyways, if you guys want to stay tuned for this video, then stay tuned. Just dropped the kids off and I'm about to go pick up some growth charts that I picked up for the kids for Christmas presents. So maybe I'll put a picture in afterwards of them. Maybe not, we'll see if I remember to take them or not. I'm gonna leave them at my dad's house in Kingston because I don't wanna bring them all the way back to my house and then move them on moving day. I'd rather just come get them from his place after the move. So yeah, I'm on my way to go get those. And then I'm about to weigh in. I'm excited, guys. I'm excited to weigh in. Yeah. How are you guys doing this week? Have you weighed in yet? Let me know down below how your weigh-ins went. And I will touch base with you guys after my weigh-in. So I'm just walking over to the coffee shop. I did my weigh-in. And I weighed in today at 168 point two so that is a loss of point eight in the last two weeks however I didn't weigh in because I was busy I got into Halloween candy my scale was reflecting 172 on Wednesday and so since last Wednesday my scale this morning was 168 so I lost four pounds in that week like I know that I was up so I mean, I'm just really happy that I had a loss reflected at the meeting today uh, because I know I was up and I didn't have that record showing. It doesn't really show how much I actually did accomplish this week, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna go in and get a breakfast and I'll chat with you later. So I am about to get these brows touched up. So what are we doing now? I'm vlogging. <laughs> you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> I know I look funny. She's got me outlined with some marker. Yeah, I might outline just a bit closer. That's okay. But I'm just mixing up color now. Yep. And then we're going to get a scraping. <laughs> get bleeding. I don't know what you want to call it. Get going. Embroidering. Embroidering. That's a good way to say it. Excited. We're gonna make them a little darker. Yeah, we're gonna add in some darker strokes. Yeah. And go over just to tweak the color on some strokes that are there. Because they were a little gold, so we're trying to correct that a little bit. We don't want to do go crazy or do something like ash because then it will go ash. <laughs> yeah, microblading always feels cool so you always want to use a warm color it's yep. very unusual that it heals too warm which is it'll be fine I could you couldn't honestly even tell unless you were like up really close to my eyebrow so but we'll go over with the color it's gonna look good and I'll update you guys after Bye. alrighty everybody I just left my touch up and man these brows are fierce. I'm so excited. She made them a little fuller in the bottom and just evened them out more. She actually filled them in a little darker and I'm really impressed. Um, I have a bit of a headache as well, but I had a headache going because she said not to have caffeine this morning and I am a girl who needs my caffeine. So I need to go get a coffee. I'm just kind of giving myself today. I'm not going to go overboard. by any means today but um, I'm going to stay in my points all week like I was so good the last four days and I'm just motivated to keep staying good so I might pick up something because I'm feeling a little blech. I find when I'm laying down I feel good when I was there and then I stand up and my head hurts and I think I might be getting a bit of a cold but if you guys can see there's the brows. There is some hairs under here that I can tweeze, but I think once they start to fade, I'll probably prefer to keep them because I like my brows pretty full. So let me know what you guys think down below. And um, I'll also put a link to Dawn's 
highbrow dawn at highbrow beauty's facebook page so if you're in the kingston area in kingston ontario canada then you can go see her or call her up but yeah i am going to chat with you later so i know i said i was going to stop for coffee and i forgot to vlog i ended up getting a small ice cap and a bagel with cream cheese and then i only ate a quarter of the bagel and like half of the ice cap i was like feeling so nauseous the car ride home i haven't figured out the points for that yet um i'm going to say it's probably like I'll just say it was like 12 for what I had. Um, and then I had, um, before Ellie's dance, Thomas made the kids chicken fingers and fries, or chicken nuggets and fries, and I had three chicken nuggets and like 10 fries for six smart points. Um, so I went over my day by, let me think, is 17, or no, 18, plus... 12 so it was 30 so I only went over by like six smart points um that's okay I'm gonna be back on track the rest of this week I'm not feeling very well today I just have a bit of a headache but I am really liking the way my brows turned out um I think there might be a hair here I can tweeze or something that's a little out of place right there but um I'm excited to see how they look as they fade. Um, Dawn is a amazing person. She does so good. So I'm thrilled. Anyways, I'll show you guys my little sad excuse for dinner. And... Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and close up this vlog. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for my next What I Ate today. Bye, guys.